All right. Everybody should be able to hear me. Uh, so let's uh, kind of give everybody a catch up here. Um, so a couple of things have been uh, going on. Uh, obviously, uh, school is getting back into session. Um, so if, uh, you know, you're going, wow, where has he been? Um, you'll, you'll understand it. Um, the, the other thing is, um, I want to give a shout out to all the teachers that are out there on Twitch who are gaming and using their gaming as a way to connect with their students, um, connect with other teachers. And uh, so one of the things I, I'm going to call out uh, on my Twitch is educators are always welcome uh, on my channel and they're always welcome to, um, you know, play my content on, on their channel. Just reach out. Um, again, just, uh, you know, reminder, um, you know, because we are educators, we do have uh, professional standards we have to follow. Um, so, uh, please do keep that in mind. Um, but that being said, um, you know, just want to give a, a brief um, uh, setup here of uh, kind of what's going on um, before we uh, open up the the match engine here. Uh, one of the first things uh, you know I want to talk to everybody about is um, you know if you have kids, if you are a kid. Um, do spend some time and, uh, you know, reach out to your kids, teachers, or, you know, kids, I'll be honest, reach out to your teachers. A lot of you will be amazed that, um, you know, a lot of us like to play games much like you all do. Um, and gaming is a great community builder. Um, you know, one, one of the things, uh, that, uh, we had a, the school where I uh, taught at, and I recently just went back into the classroom. Um, one of the things that, that we had um, in um, our school was we actually had a gaming group um, for kids. And uh, there were two teachers that ran it, but one of the things that they did was uh, they played FIFA. And um, the the kids that uh, really got into to playing the games and uh, you know learning about the development of some of the games that they enjoyed playing um, by watching TED talks and, and videos on on YouTube um, really made a strong connections for those kids. Um, so educators, you know. You have a kid that that's not connecting with you. Find out if that kid's a gamer, and if they are, talk to them about their favorite game. Um, find find a way to break down that barrier um, on that student who who's not engaging, and see if you can use gaming as a conversation to get them to engage in the classroom. Um, one of the activities that I did in uh, my class, um, and I taught English as a second language, uh, one of the things that I would do in my class is I had the kids, um, they, they had to write a uh, dialogue script in a video game. Um, most of the kids that I had, uh, the boys, um, they would always choose soccer. And so it's like, okay, well, you know, what type of conversations do coaches and players have in, in the locker room? And, um, you know, giving them that, that context to come up with that dialogue and to, you know, kind of pay attention to things um, is a great uh, equalizer. And it's a good way to, to engage them and to get them to think um, about something that they enjoy and, how maybe the skills that they're learning in that game 
can be applied in real life. Um, now notice I'm not talking about GTA. Um, I'm talking, you know, for example, football manager. It's a sports management game. It's mostly people management. Um, and if you're a teacher, you know, one of the things that, that you pick up on is, you know, how students react to situations. Well, one of the nice things in football manager is, you know, when you have conversations with players, yes, there's some scripting behind it, but, you know, the options that you pick, you know, can have a reflection and a reaction based on that player, um, just like in the real world. And so giving the students kind of that ability to, to see that in motion and make those connections is something that would benefit a lot of students. Um, but anyways, so let me get you caught back up on my um, save here for uh, Football Manager. Uh, right now, I'm on, uh, this is episode four of my Potenza Calcio save. Um, and right now, uh, you know, we're doing okay. Um, it's not exactly what I would call a uh, <laughs> um, spectacular uh, team. Uh, although right now I'm second in the league in real life, they uh, just dropped down to, to 20th. Um, but one of the things that, uh, you know, you kind of have to be, be aware of as a, um, you know, player, as, as I'm going through this game is looking at, um, what sort of players do I want to have on my team? Um, so like right now, um, you know, when I bring up my, my team management page here in just a moment, one of the things I'm going to be highlighting is the the players that I have, their ages, and, you know, kind of how they fit into my overall picture. Um, and so one of the things uh, I want to point out before I get there is because of how Serious C is structured, you're only allowed to have two loans from uh, higher division leagues. Um, so that really limits... Um, you know, the types of players that you can have in Serious C. Now, one of the things that I have taken to doing is hiring and picking players who I know are only two or three star players. Most of them are two star. Um, and using them to fill in my team while I'm able to then start scouting. And so like right now, my scouting is focused on uh, two positions still, uh, defensive midfielder. And then I'm also looking at a defensive left and a wing back left. Um, and, and the reason why I'm looking at, at those positions is those are the two areas where uh, I don't have a lot of depth. And I'm, I'm one of those, uh, coaches um, in, in football manager, I like to have uh, three to five players in each position because at the, the end of the day, uh, what I want to be able to do is have a, a rotation. Um, so have my, uh, you know, league players, have my cup players, and then have my players that uh, who can play between the two. Um, and the reason why I do that is in all my saves, uh, whether it's Barcelona or it's uh, Potenza Calcio, even the MLS, uh, the one thing that uh, I've seen across all the series in Football Manager is the teams that uh, will always end up going into relegation are the teams that struggle. Um, because they are short in a particular position. So, you know, I'm taking it back to the classroom. You know, a classroom does not function well if everybody's not there. You know, they're not present. They're not engaged. Um, you know, I, I think of the, 
you know, when I was in school, you know, late 90s, we really didn't have cell phones, uh, you know, like we do now. Uh, when I was in school, it was pagers. But, um, you know, the, the main distraction uh, that would disengage us when we were students does not exist in the same capacity as it does for students nowadays. So, you know, my entire strategy is how can I make the whole picture function? Uh, and so that that's kind of how I manage and, and football manager. But let's go ahead and uh, let me go ahead and pull up, uh, you know, how everything's going here in football manager. And then I'll get some tunes on going in here in just a minute. All right, so here is my my current screen. Um, I'm currently second uh, in Syria C, uh, level C, um, and uh, uh, level C is uh, the southern part of Italy. Um, so, uh, last match, um, played against, uh, Virtus, uh, lost, um, spectacularly so. Um, but one of the things I, I want to point out, um, you know, right here, you know, Bari has 47 points. I have 45. Third and fourth place are tied at 41. And fifth place is at 40. And then look at the goal differential here. Okay, we're not talking a whole lot of major goal differences here. Um, I'm looking at uh, my team stats overall. Um, you know, we have the second most uh, goals scored uh, at, at 34 out of 23 matches. Um, goals allowed 21 eighth best. So, you know, there's 20 total teams. Uh, you know, I'm up here in the upper echelon, so that's good. Um, yellow cards, I've only had 24 yellow cards. So, um, you know, I'm up here in terms of yellow cards. I've only had one red card. Um, my attendance is, is good. Um, you know, seventh best. You know, I'm right here in terms of attendance. Um so next, uh, you know, looking at my training session breakdown, what is it that I'm having my players focusing on? Uh, majority is general, uh, then match prep, um, then attacking, defending, and then technical, followed by tactical, and then physical. <coughs> um, right now my top goal scorer, scorer is Nicolo Romero. Uh, you know, one of the things I, I did, um, you know, looking over Potenza Calcio um, before I, I took him over in uh, Football Manager 20, um, is I, I researched the team and, and the types of players that they have. Um, one of the things that I noticed with Serie C is that there's a large number of teams that have play, a lot of players that are uh, very young and then they have a large number of players that are very old. Um, and there's not a whole lot in between. One of the things I've kind of done is I'm bringing my average age down in my team. And my current uh, goal for uh, my Potenza Calcio is nobody is over the age of uh, 28 on the team. And that's twofold. One is uh, if I'm able to start recruiting some of those younger players, uh, that means when I sell them later on, I have a better chance of making money, which obviously is the main goal. Uh, if you're managing a football club, uh, you don't really want to be in the red for too long. Uh, and I'll bring up my financials here in a moment. Um, so my, uh, you know, head coach performance, I want to pull this up here. Um, so overall, you know, 
the board thinks I'm doing a great job. The only thing is they're they're mad about this, uh, and I would be too. Um, Columbusion, uh, I'm rocking it here um, because of their their vision, how it's set up. Um, you know, I'm being very selective with everything. Um, I'm getting ready to uh, sell a bunch of players that uh, don't need. Um, I'm gonna uh, let go of about four. Uh, midfielders because uh, I have 10 and I only need six uh, so transfers looking good here um, the the style of football I'm playing is really uh, high pressure so it does a great job for the the players uh, on this team um, and of course my players are happy that's important all right so let's look at my finances um, Alright, so currently my overall balance, uh, I've got $293,000 in the bank account. Um, my transfer budget right now is $13,000, which is not a lot. Are you doing a podcast? Yeah. Oh. Uh, Payroll here is uh, almost $48,000 uh, per week. Um, my scouting budget is kind of huge at $51,000. Um, now, currently, um, I'm losing money right now because I've, I've brought in uh, some players and staff. Uh, so that that's eaten into uh, my profit um, but I'm gonna be able to make some of this back by uh, selling some players um, currently that this is where we're at this season our income uh, this month uh, for the month of January is only 24,000 whereas last year in December you know we came in at a one point uh, seven million. Um, right now, our our expenditures are four hundred and seventy six thousand, which will actually kind of uh, go down uh, here soon. Um, so, looking at my income here, um, you know, current income one hundred and sixty six thousand, um, and mostly that's due to uh, again I've hired some players uh, to fill in some gaps. Uh, still uh, bringing in a few more players, but I'm going to sell uh, players that I'm not going to need. Um, now this is the big... Alright, so where's the majority of my money going? Um, so right here, my player salaries. This has increased considerably. Um... If we look at staff salaries, last month it was 96, this month it's 68. Um, so we're, we're keeping it um, pretty low. Um, Non-soccer costs, um, this increased. So this is like uh, advanced fees that go to players. Um, my bonuses are overall, uh, I've paid out some bonuses to some players to, to keep them in. Um, there's that. So looking at my salary, it's, it's relatively flat, not a whole lot. Um, I do have a little bit for, for youth players, but again, not a lot. Um, I don't have one star player, um, and he makes, um, uh, $4,100 a week. Um. I had the option of, of loaning it, but I elected to keep it the same. Um, then I have some important players. I have five of them, and they make um, anywhere between uh, $675 per week uh, to the highest being $2,200 per week. Um, my regular starters, again, they make the same as an important player. Um, but I've got seven here. 
Um, I have no, no squad players that are impact subs. Uh, then I've got six players here that are fringe. Uh, I have five uh, breakout prospects, two future prospects, 38 youngsters. Now, this is where a large chunk of my money is going. Uh, 9000 right here. Um, and then uh, goalkeepers overall. So... The next thing I'm uh, going to look at is my salary commitments. Well, my salary commitments are going to drop here in uh, at the end of uh, April um, to about 7000 uh, And then down here, I'll actually be making money uh, by May of 2023. Now, that's if I'm promoted. This is what's going to happen to uh, a lot of my salaries. Um, and there are still some players who will uh, end up, I will end up making money off of them. Now, if I'm relegated, uh, then that's where things are going to collapse. Um, basically, what will happen is uh, the amount of money I can make as a club uh, disappears. All right, so let's uh, go ahead. Let's start progressing towards our next match. All right, so here's my uh, training schedule. Again, I'm I'm pushing this tactic um, training style it's heavy on defense um, now I could go uh, switch it to, to a vertical tiki taka style but I've been trying to shore up more of my defense um, just because that's the one area that's needing a, a lot of work right now um, in two weeks it switches to tactic um, now looking at uh, the leagues around the, the globe, so to speak. Um, so these are all the, the major leagues uh, I'm watching with my Potenza save. Um, Barcelona is still fifth. Man City is first. Roma is in first. FCB is in first, America is in first, PSG is in first, Ajax is in first, Boca is first, and Porto is first. All right, uh, so let's uh, look over my squad here. All right. So again, th these are all my players. Um, so here are some of the... Um, Rules for Serie C. Under 20 players are automatically el eligible. So, again, this is why I'm trying to bring in a lot of under 20 players onto my team. Um, and players who have played 50 more matches in the top division are ineligible. So, uh, any player I bring in, if they've played more than 50 matches, uh, before I bring them in, I can't play them until the next season. Um, the Copa, they have no rules in, in regards to the match. Um, all right, so let's let's look at my depth chart here. Okay. So, as I said, you know, looking at a couple of areas that I have high need. AML, I need at least one more here. Same thing with Defender Left. Where I'm struggling is my uh, defensive middle back. I only have two players. And both of them pl can play at two different roles. Well, Del Rizzo can play midfield center. This player here, I wish I could have him play back here. But he doesn't have the ability for it. Uh, Sandri, same thing. Um, 
and he's actually a player I'm going to try and sell. Uh, he he's good. Um, now this player here, Costa, he's awesome, but he is uh, getting up there in age. Uh, he's thirty, so I'm going to be I'm going to be looking at selling him here uh, at the end of this season. Um, simply because Bruzo is able to do a much better job overall. Um, so as we noticed, they're noticing a lack of strength up here up front. Um, so Volpe here, uh, he's 19, um, is an awesome player. Um, I'm glad I got him on a steal. Um, Salamini, he's okay. Um, he does a lot in terms of, uh, you know, out here on the left. He does an awesome job of, of supporting. Um, Banegas, he's awesome. Um, I don't have any issues with him. Uh, and Romero, he's just stellar. He's 29. So in two years' time, I'm going to have to look at retiring him. Um, so going over to my scouting, go here to my uh, player search. And these are all the players, and I have it sorted by uh, age. Uh, now, occasionally, I'll search by, by recommendation. Um, so like this player here, um, he might be decent. Um, so I'm going to, uh, yeah, I've already got a, a scouting going on with him. Um, I might be able to bring him on. Um, you know, just looking here, he'd be, he'd be a stellar player. Um, potential. Um, Let's see where who else uh, tourists. Um, he he has a transfer fee. Um, I try. I'm a cheapskate. I try and get players uh, for free. Um, Fabian, um, he'd be decent. He wouldn't be strong. Um, I I tried to get uh, Jacob, but he would not uh, come uh, over, which sucked. Um, because he'd be an awesome player. Like, he'd get immediate starting time. Um, let's see. Foti here, awesome player uh, at, at a young age. No way he's going to come uh, play for me. Potentially, maybe. Um, he is eligible for loan, but, again, um, unlikely. Um, I'm still gonna, uh, scout him. Um, so going through, again, we're looking at, uh, my DL list here and Defender. There's a couple players here. Um, uh, Thomas, he was on my team. I let him go. Uh, I don't know why he's still... Um, you know, popping up here. He was okay. Um, was not very good overall. Um, this guy, he keeps on uh, popping up every now and then. Not really going to have much use for him. All right, so let me go over my uh, short list here. These are all my shortlisted players. Um, so um, I've got this player here. I would love to bring him onto my team. I can't. Um, he, he, his club won't sell him. Um, this player is on a free transfer. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and is he set for? Yeah, I've got, I got him set for scouting. Um, if you notice. There are no strikers on here. 
Um, so that's going to be my next area. Um, I need to go here to uh, player search. I'm going to go over here and uh, change this here to striker. Let's just see what we find here. All right, so here are a couple of players. Um, all right, here's a player, again, age 37. Uh, he's not going to do me a lot of good at, at that age. Now, here's a player I might be able to get. He's 20 years old, and he can play these three roles really well. Um, Toon, um, you know, I might be able to get him. Um, you know, I, I doubt Spall will... Um, let him go but there's always a chance so um, I'm going to uh, scout him I'm gonna since he's also uh, available I'm gonna offer him a trial at four weeks let's see who else can I, I snag here that might be decent um, Claudio I can't grab uh, here, here's a player. Um, he's a free agent. He's 24, a little bit older. Um, but he's going to be one star. Um, not going to do much with him. Go ahead and get a scout report on him. And uh, let, let's see if they will uh, no, let's see what they, they say. Um, sometimes just asking gives you a good amount of information. Um, okay, so here's an American player, 28. I'm not going to hire him. He's not even one star. No point. Waste of money. Uh, let's see. Anybody else? Anybody else? Not seeing a whole lot here. Um, so I'm going to go back to my filters here. I'm going to add a condition age. Um, and I'm going to say at most 25. That's going to cut down a lot. Um, Again, I'm going to start here, look through, um, see if we can find a, a young player that we can snag. Um, so looking through, looking through. Right, here's a player that might be decent. So we're going to scout him. And then we're going to offer him a trial at four weeks look here okay um, ooh, here's here's a, a player um, he's got strong finishing um, so yeah we're, we're gonna offer this kid a, a chance I'm gonna scout him for a full week And then we're going to offer him a trial for, again, four weeks' time. Let's go through. Anybody interesting yet? Popping up. Okay, here's a player. Here's another player. Okay, so here's a player that's been scouted. Came in at C, would be useful. Um, he could end up becoming a, a four-star player. Um, and I can have uh, 
a total of three under 19 players. So again, some to, to consider. Um, dude, this guy's having a bad day. All right, anybody else? Okay, so potential CC standard player. Um, what about this player? Okay, um, he could end up being a uh, potentially a uh, five star. Um, let's see, he's at Bologna. You know, let's uh, let's see if he plays anything. Um, going through. And be all sticking out. Here's a player. Not bad. See, 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 see. Okay. <clears throat> now we're we're getting into the the gritty here. Um. Ooh, here's a, a player's potential B. Okay. He's at Spall. Again, we've already we already made an inquiry on him. Let's go down. Anybody else? Tiro. Okay, so he's played for Lazio. Right now he, he's on a free transfer. Ahead and uh, see if we can get him on. Anybody else? Okay, we've made a bid for him because he'd be a good signing. Anybody else popping out at us? Here's a player who might be good. Okay, so right here, one of the things I, I look for is, uh, you know, their cons. That, that always gives me a, an idea of if I need to be mindful. Um, all right, so we got a good amount of here. Um, so let's continue. Let's see what happens. All right, yep. Too many yellow cards. All right, so this guy accepted. He accepted. Oh. Dang. This guy's going to come on, can be a player with us, potentially. I like that. All right. All right, so... I'm going to say that's up to him. So that's going to potentially make him want to do more. All right. So let's look at news here. Anything interesting? No. All right. So what this will do, um, this could get this player to really uh, do more. So here he is. Um, let's see where he ends up falling. Uh, so let me go down here to uh, 
Claire's. Alright. Quick pick. Everything's looking good. Alright. Do it. Do it. Move on. In meeting. Okay. So looking through. Um, so obviously none of our players that are I don't want. All right, so this guy nineteen. Um, I may have to consider getting rid of him. He hasn't played any matches like at all. Um, this guy I just signed. Um, he potentially could be a a knockout. Um, in fact, I'll probably throw him in. Um. So yeah, definitely need uh, some new strikers here. All right, so let's go to, to training staff. Okay, everything's gonna be here. Um, team performance reports overall. Yeah, we're doing okay here. Okay, so seven of fifteen assists, five of fifteen. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> mm. uh, so conceding um, left side. So. Where I'm getting hit is, is on this side. So, obviously, I need to beef up over here. Um, if I can get a stronger DM here, he can pull over here. The AMC, he's supposed to be pulling back this way. Or pulling more towards the center. Alright, so, looking here. Um... Uh, so here's my goal output. Passing goalkeepers. Passing forwards. Aerial. Okay, so let's look at forwards. Okay. Matches. Last five. Okay. This is all of the matches, okay? This is where we are moving the ball. This is right up here and here. We're getting more balls into the final third. So the final third is this area here. Um, goals from within the penalty area. We got one here. We've got two here. Goals scored in location. So, yeah. Two of them right here. Opposition, final third. Um, so this is, is our def defense areas. Um, regaining possession. Um, so we're controlling here and here. Uh, goal scoring spells. So this is where all of our scoring is happening. It's here and here. So our, our next uh, opposition, uh, Latina in uh, six days, this is kind of how they play. So they, they do, they play heavily cautious, um, a lot of back and forth. The overall performance, they're so defensive. Um, Likely, I will uh, cream them. All right. All right. So let's go. Steam, steam, steam.
No, too old. In the meeting, blah, blah, blah. Hmm, let me find some a little bit different. There we go. All right, I'm going to accept this guy. He'll likely be decent for me. He is a wonder child, so... Yeah, nope. It's sticking with my training schedule, folks. So here's my under 20. Let's see, everybody's using the same tactic. All right, so here's my one youth candidate. Uh. 
So I'm going to clear. still out. I really want to see how this guy does. So let me schedule here. I'm going to see how well certain players do. All right. Let's see. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to offer him a trial for four weeks. Yeah, no. Okay. Hundred and ninety five thousand. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna look him up. Um so let's see. But if I can get him, I mean, he's going to be an awesome player regardless. Let's see. Okay. Overall, he looks good. Be a good future prospect. He's got good pace. His versatility is good. Um. What's his vision? Vision is okay. Um, he doesn't have a lot of flair. He does have aggression. His anticipation is kind of low. But first touch is decent. Again, he's a striker, so he doesn't need a whole lot. Um... You know, he makes a great pressing forward. So let's see. And 
let's do do it over three years. And I could get them. Um. All right, let's see if they bite on this. See if they take this. No, 140. Ugh. Now they want 25. Ugh. I'm going to handle the negotiations. All right. So take out the appearance fees. That's nothing. All right. Let's see if he takes this. And give them a bit higher bonus there. Does it take it? Yes, perfect. We got our guy. All right. How are we doing here? Yeah, I figured he'd go with. All right, <clears throat> pleased here. Okay, we got Latina next. OK. 
Okay. Wrong, they're looking good. Okay, let's see how we doing here. Ooh. All right, end of my short list. All right. So overall, should be able to do this. Uh, transfer window closes here. But again, majority of the players that I've got alone are players that are on free transfer, so I can sign them at any time. <clears throat> All right, so I can get Greco back. Yeah, let's uh, bring in a stronger team. All right, press conference, just one guy. Welcome to the lower level. You get one guy to come to your press conferences. All right. <clears throat> It's in the past. All right, Zuninis. Vecchi. All right. Ugh. I hate that guy. He's annoying. All right. Let's look at things here. All right. So let's see how we do in our match. All right. Save. All 
right, let's get going. Ooh, I'm gonna have to look at the world news, see what happened here. Of course, Twitch soundtrack is acting up. All right, Zampa's back. That's good. Do, do, do. Oh, and our 18 is lost. All right, let's see. Anybody come in? No. <sighs> All right. We go. All right. Now look at this. Okay, this guy's on trial. Look at his overall score right here. This guy, Luca Lamberti, okay, on trial, smoking it. <clears throat> Sandry's an awesome player. He's awesome at midfield. Um, so let's go back, look at my squad here. Looking at my midfielders, okay. These two here. Prusso's decent. Riso, excellent player, but he's not going to last much longer. This guy killed it. He just absolutely killed it in the last match. Okay, um, he's on loan. Okay, looking at this guy here, killed it, just absolutely killed it on dynamics and everything. Um, same thing with, with Luca, I just killed it out there. So I have a feeling those two players are going to come in handy. Um, all right, so we're coming up on the match. And uh, I'll be right back. Take a quick bio break, folks.
All right, I'm back. So here we go. And so let's look at uh, news overall. Let's see what happened. Let's see, where's... Uh, Let's see what happened in that last match with Man United. Two to one match, not bad. All right. Hmm. There we go. All right, we're here, match day. Squad. In meeting. All right. So I'm going to clear. Do a quick pick. Okay. <clears throat> so this player here, um, even though he's 22, he's been killing it for me. Um, I wish I could keep him. But uh, I only have them through June. Alright, so looking at my overall team here. Uh, so, Drisa. Um, I've got him on loan. Uh, I'll likely get um, a lot of play out of him. So, let me go to my tactics here. Alright, so I'm going to clear it here. Let's do it based on the tactics. So, we'll do selection advice here. All right, now let's look. Um, so Salvini, um, he's lost some match sharpness. Uh, again, he's been injured. Um, and sadly, he is surplus. Um, you know, 25. Um, he's maxed out his potential. Um, Not saying he's a bad player, just given with how I play, he's not going to do well. Um, so looking through here. Um, all right, so Zampa, um, he, he's decent, um, but he's leaving. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, drop him here. Let's see, I need another ST up front. So Lorenzo. Um, he's not worth a lot. Um, I'll probably be, be dropping him. Uh, he, he mostly plays on my U20. <sighs> Daisy. Um, again, same sort of thing. Uh, Ignazio. He's not really worth much of anything. Um, again, he'll probably be going. Uh, Olive. Um, you know, I've got him set to go on loan. I doubt I'll get anything for him. All right, so back up here. Um, Picone, not going to get much for him. 
Um, all right, this guy, he's on trial. I'm going to go ahead and bring him on next. Uh, same thing with uh, Eves here. Both of these guys are just killing it. Um, Lambert, same thing. So I just need somebody to stick up in there. So now it comes down to who's going to make the best choice. And I said alone. All right. Uh, he's at least somebody that I can drop in the front. Okay, is there anybody else I can bring in? But no. Rodano? No. All right. Save the game and let's go. <clears throat> All right, here we go. And hit early crosses. Yeah. Right. And now my players have sh increased the familiarity with this tactic. Change. All right. I almost want to put him in. Let's just see what happens. Nagaro. This guy's been doing good. Um, all right. I'm not going to do the instant result. I want to watch this match. All right. So now we're going to change to some better music here. Many of these songs have very inappropriate lyrics. Yeah. All right, we'll give this a try. All right. No. All right, here we go. Where do they display? All right. So again, pretends it's in the red. Latina's in the blue. All right, come on. Uh, all on. Position.
Oh. Make a change on that. And of course, I've already got a yellow card. I'm going to go on the attack here. Yeah, there we go. Come on. There we go. Come on, work it, work it, work it, work it. There it is. <clears throat> yeah. And I watch. Passes it. Romero brings it back to him. Sneaks it past the keeper. Right like that. Right like that. Just right there. Oh. All right. Come on. Oh. 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 Oof. There it is. Look at this. Boom. Uh, just look at this overall total domination here. 0 0.02 versus 1.08. All right. Tactics. All right. Costa. You're an awesome man, but uh, I'm going to have to pull you. 
just can't risk it, man. I'm sorry. Uh, Jason's doing an awesome job. Um, I, opposition. Is that... Corners. Penalties. Uh, let's see, Ferreira, no. Hmm. All right, go back to the dressing room. I think looks good. Okay, good sand feet. Everything's looking good. Transition looks good. Everything looks good there. Shouts. I can do any shouts just yet. Let's see. How are we doing overall? Good. I'm going to ask him to give me a little bit more. Oh. Really missed the header. I'll probably pull Salva Mini off. He's struggling. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Boom. Eleventh. One, one. All right, watch what he does. Okay, so he let DeSantis get a touch on it. Then he took control back. He passes it to Vecchi. Vecchi bunts it over Romero, and Romero does a beautiful kick. And just look at that.
bounces off the keeper into the goal. Druzo's the only one that's slowing down here. Oof. All right, now watch how we play this. Oh! Oh. So close. That's the end. All right, so a three to one thrashing. All right, so here's the stat that matters. XG 0 0.15, that's them, versus my 1.78. Total Bruder, Veggie did an awesome job. Uh, so if we look at his stats, if I bring him up, he's right here, okay? His overall stats, 94% on his passing, 66% on his crosses, tackling two for two, and he had an assist. Look at this. Three players average rating of 7.9. Got a 7.1 here. Kamara had a 6.5, but again, first match for him. Awesome win. All right, so looking at all my players, looking at their reactions. Getting a good read here. Okay, so who who didn't have a reaction? Okay, Zagatero, he's complacent. Sandry, you know, he didn't get a get a mat, didn't get in on the match much. That's okay. Um, but let's look at you know my new players. Look at Kamara. You know. 6.5, you know, he's doing an awesome job. All right, so again, point difference, two points. All right, so I'm going to go to the press conference here. Again, it's one guy. And say striker. All right, Paganis. They've dropped in this game. In real life, they're actually doing quite well.
see what that is here. So, while everything processes here, you got our friendly coming up. <clears throat> See how our players on loan actually do. It gives a good idea. Central defender, defend. Hmm. This close to his full potential. All right, I'll scout. Uh. Might be worth it. We'll see. Here we go. <clears throat> yeah, good, take them. And he's done me all right, but I'm not playing this position right here anymore. Where I've got him is here as a Mazzola. And his stats aren't very well compatible with that position. Okay. What the heck? A bite. Oh. Oh. 
Let's see here. Yep, wiping away. Good. Accept it. This guy's going to do an awesome job. <clears throat> Now I can focus on my front. I didn't think I was going to get him. Let's scout him. Might be a good player. We'll see. <clears throat> Okay. 
Okay, interesting. He's only played three matches. Future fee. Um, and could they say yes? Oh, uh, yeah. There we go. We got our man. Alright, so let's see here. Any hot news? Nope. Let's see how we do here, folks. Alright, got him on loan. Boom. All right, let's see here, boom. And I moved seven players out, wow. when that happens.
All right. So let's exclude those that are leaving. Let's select from selection. Done. Getting there, folks. We're getting there. Oh man, look at this. All right, here we go. Important dates. <clears throat> As an assistant coach. <sighs> I'm going to ask him to stay. Yes, he's staying. Again, football manager is all about how you interact with the people in the game. Literally. All right. He had the goal of the month. All right, there we go, another one. Anytime a player wins an award, I put my arm around their shoulder. Yes. So he stayed. All right. Seven. <clears throat> All right. Uh, he's had a concussion. So here's my, my rule of thumb. Player has a concussion. I let them go regardless. <clears throat> he's coming back fine. All right. Injuries. Just increased injury risk. That's fine. So what this is saying is, even though he's 17, he should not be given a professional contract yet. And in reality, he doesn't. All right, everything's going well here. All right, boom. Check something here in my Twitch. Do, do, do. We're going to 
on my dashboard. So far, everything is looking good. All right, let's go to this match. Clear. All right, quick pick. My match plan, I'm going to do an instant match. All right, so let's see what happens here. Hmm. All right, let's see here. All right, boom, 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 boom. So let's look at a minor 20 who all played. He played. He played. He played. Look at played. Vincent played. All right. So, uh, here, here's what I got. I'm going to stop the and find a different track. Um, all right. So I've got some players that I've got on trials uh, that are just killing it. So um, let's start with uh, Jamie here. Uh, this kid is just killing it. I mean, he's awesome. Um, so let me bring him up. He's 20. Um, kind of sent his ways, but he's still growing, so there's a chance um, he could end up being a uh, three and a half star, um, especially when you play him in red winger. Now, if you play him as a striker, uh, he's limited uh, to being a uh, uh, three star. So. Um, but, you know, looking at his stats here, okay, technique, good, work rate, excellent, off the ball, excellent, decisions, good, composure's good, anticipation's good. Overall, he's relatively strong. Uh, his stamina's good, his pace is excellent, agility's high, acceleration is good, dribbling, finishing, and first touch, you know, the trifecta, um, those are all good. Um, so, um, Obviously, this is going to be a player that would be a, a quality signing. signing. Um, so I'm going to offer him a contract. And uh, I'm going to make him important. Well, I'm going to do regular starter and just kind of see what happens. All right, 10%. Yeah, not happening. Let me move. Take this out. That out. 
Minimum release clause. Uh, I'm going to see if I can increase that to 425. Promotion raise. Um, yeah, I'm going to say uh, 25%. Um, I'm going to give them 1.4. Okay, non promotion release clause. I'm going to take that out. Um, so if we don't get promotion, uh, no. I have to pay him money. No, I, I'm not going to do that. Goal bonus. Um, I'll leave that the same. Let's see what he says. Okay, no, he wants 1.8. Um, let's see if he'll do 1.5. Terms, 1.7. Uh, come on. Throw me a bone here. Uh, dang. I really want to get him because he would be perfect on that team. Ugh. All right, so next, uh, Luca, 17, no. Uh, let's see if it, Yves, yes, this guy. Okay, 17 years old. Let's see what we can get him for. First sign, youngster. Uh, let's go future prospect. That might give us more wiggle room. All right, decent. I dropped your parents' fees, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to be nice. Let's give them full 100. Promotion raise, 30%. Uh, dude, we're going to say 20. Not because I'm a jerk. Uh, I'm going to sign it to two years. Let me give you a sign on fee of 1000 bucks. 650 per week. I'm going to drop it down to 600 even. Let's see what he does. All right, 675, blah, blah, blah. All right, drop that down to 25. He wants one year. All right, let's say 650. Let's see if he bites. He does. Excellent. All right. Uh, Luca. Decent. This guy I've already brought on. Uh, Ricardo Bellotti. Okay. Uh, brought him in on trial. He's 17. Uh, yeah, what the heck? Let's see what I can get for him. Youngster. Yeah, I don't do those services, so yeah, you'll just have to deal with that. Um, let's say when you're a kid. Yeah, I'm going to be nice. I'm going to give you a sign off fee of. So, all right, so let's look at our uh, squad dynamics here. Team cohesion. Uh, you know, not there yet. Pep talk feedback looks good. All right. Well, we're kind of at the end for today, folks. Um, so, have a great day.
Study hard, stay in school.